Hi guys, today I want to go through elastic and inelastic collisions. So what is the difference between an elastic and inelastic collision? Well, in an elastic collision, the total kinetic energy before and after the collision is the same. With an inelastic collision, the kinetic energy of the system changes. The relative speed that the objects approach each other is equal to the relative speed that the objects leave each other in an elastic collision but momentum is still conserved in either case. So before we've got maybe two objects with a velocity of uh, u1 and u2, so two masses m1 and m2, uh, and then afterwards, well, the velocity usable might, well, probably will have changed. So we've now got v1 and v2. So the total kinetic energy to begin with, well, to work out the kinetic energy of an object, we do half times the mass times the velocity squared. So this is going to be half m1 u1 squared plus a half m2 u2 squared. So that'll tell you the kinetic energy at the beginning uh, before the collision or explosion or whatever happened. And afterwards, we've got half m, sorry, half m1 v1 squared plus a half uh, m2 v2 squared. If these things are equal, uh, then we've got an elastic collision. And if they're not, it's an inelastic collision. So let's just have, an, have a look at an elastic example. A white snooker ball hits a red snooker ball at a speed of 3 meters per second. The white ball is then stationary whilst the red ball continues at 3 meters per second. Uh, each ball has a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms. Was the collision elastic? Okay, so the red ball is stationary and the white ball comes and hits in. So we're going to use our formula. So we're going to have a look at the uh, kinetic energy to begin with and the kinetic energy afterwards and we're going to compare are these two things equal if they are we've got an elastic collision and if they're not it's an inelastic collision okay so uh, to begin with we've got a half times 0 0.2 times 3 squared plus a half times 0 0.2 times 0 squared remember the red ball is stationary so the total energy, or the total kinetic energy, sorry, of the system is 0 0.9 joules. And then, uh, well, I told you it was an elastic example, so it's going to work out. A half times 0 0.2 times 0 squared, the white ball is now stationary. And all the momentum is being transferred to the red snooker ball. And we've got a half times 0 0.2 times 3 squared, which is 0 0.9 joules. Same uh, amount of energy to begin with. To begin with. Uh, so therefore, we definitely have got an elastic collision. Okay, guys, hope that was useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Adios, amigos. Goodbye for now.